Hello everyone. Welcome you all to our channel White Coat and Stethoscope. Today we will be studying about electrophysiology of the heart. We will be studying action potential in the cardiac tissues and the pacemaker potential. Coming to the action potential, there are typically five phases observed from the ventricular muscle fibers. Phase 0 is the phase of the rapid depolarization and the overshoot. It is mainly due to the opening of the voltage gated sodium channels. Phase 1 is the phase of the initial rapid repolarization due to the closure of the sodium channels and opening of the outward transient rectifying potassium channels that causes the outflux of the potassium ions. Phase 2 is the plateau phase which is due to the slower but prolonged opening of the voltage gated calcium channels. Phase 3 is the final repolarization phase where, which occurs due to the cessation of the calcium influx and opening of the outward delayed rectifying potassium channels. Phase 4 is the phase of the restoration of the membrane potential. It occurs due to the opening of the inward rectifying potassium channel that contributes to maintain the restored membrane potential. Pacemaker potential Ionic basis of the pacemaker potential has two important parts, the initial part and the later part. Initial part is due to the efflux of the potassium ions and the opening of the F channels. Later part is due to the opening of the transient calcium channels. Upstroke of the action potential occurs due to the opening of the long lasting calcium channels. Effect of the vagal stimulation The vagal stimulation of the heart mainly decreases the heart rate due to the release of the acetylcholine. Acetylcholine acts by two mechanisms. It acts on the G protein activated potassium channels that counters the decay of the potassium and hyperpolarizes the membrane. It also acts on the M2 muscarinic receptors that decreases the concentration of the cyclic AMP, decreases the calcium influx. Decrease in the intracellular calcium concentration decreases the force of contraction. Effect of the sympathetic stimulation Sympathetic stimulation to heart increases the heart rate and the force of contraction due to the release of the norepinephrine. Norepinephrine binds to the beta-1 receptor, increases the intracellular cyclic AMP that increases the opening of the calcium channels, thus heart rate increases. That's it for this video. If you like the video, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.